Hey guys, um, obviously I'm not exactly uh, having it on my face today because um, these are just, I wanted to do some real quick videos about the tablet here. If you haven't seen my review videos of this tablet, um, it's a four-parter series and I go into details about what I encountered problems with initially and um, just some problems that I've had with it as well as the enormous amount of things that I've had good about it that I've really enjoyed about this tablet. Um, again, that was a four-parter video series uh, as of last Monday, uh, November 12th, I believe. YouTube user Jonathan Duran asked me um, if I could do a v more videos on the S Pen and S Note app on this device. And I'm going to preface it right now saying that I haven't spent a whole lot of time using, well, a fair amount of time using the pen, but um, not a whole lot of time using the S Note app on this device. I have used it once and it does work pretty well. So I'm just going to do these are individual little videos about responses from back to people that have asked me for requests. So this first one, um, and bear with me, the tablet does upside down for me, of course. You can see that um, you can't really quite scroll the way you think it would. Um, I apologize for <laughs> bumping it all around here. You can use the stylus as a normal pen to open up various things like say the weather app or anything like that. And you can see, um, for a split second, you can see that you have the little white cursor following your uh, pen the entire time. And obviously it goes away, but it's also kind of nice because that basically duplicates the um, mouse and keyboard input, mostly mouse I guess, input from normal older Windows computers. And so you can see that you have to get within a certain distance over there. So, so you can see just looking at it that there's a certain point, uh, you can't quite see it, um, that you can see that you have to get about a centimeter from the surface of it. Um, maybe, uh, it's maybe about better part of half an inch, maybe a little bit more than that, that you have the little white cursor following you like I have right there and you can't really scroll or anything like you can with your finger um, going backwards, so I apologize for that. Um, but obviously you can't do the pen like that. You can right click on it, um, which is what the little button on the side of this device is. You have your little, little button there. That's your right click. So you can do that, and that's what I get by um, right clicking right there. I'm clicking it, not clicking it. So if you can tell what the right click is with this thing. Now I'll let me bring it over to the let's see. I will bring it over to the um, let's see. Let's do for those OneNote people um, uh, that use OneNote fair amount. Obviously you can see that it's, even in OneNote app here, it's pretty responsive and everything. And you can tell like at the end of my E, let me get this thing to turn around. Um, you can see it the, on my E on the, that it's, you can tell it's got the different levels of um, sensing. The I think it's 1024 or something like that, levels. And uh, you don't really notice as much in apps like this, but um, it does stand out a fair amount um, in some other applications. So, um, and obviously, I even got a little bit of a weird thing on my T down over here. Um, And you might have noticed that I have my finger or my hand actually against the tablet the entire time because whenever the pen is engaged on the surface, that like in this case, if I clicked on it, um, I would be 
bringing up the little text icon there, which is what I would use for the keyboard down here. But as far as, oops, scroll a little bit. Um, as far as the cursor goes with this thing, um, it really isn't, oops, period. Um, obviously you can tell that this thing does pretty well, actually. I mean, you saw, uh, I'll go upside down, um, how good this thing responds to my handwriting capabilities on this. And I mean, another thing to note is, let me put it back so I can use it, um, that one of the optional keyboards, of course, on here is the handwriting one. That let me try, oops, I'm not exactly writing. Let me cross that out. Let's say there's the, and it recognized my handwriting. So there's even cursive for you, and it reads it still. So that's pretty amazing, actually, to me, that it is able to do that. Um, let's see, apparently when you rotate it around that it uh, erases it, but that's okay. It's only a test. So anyway, um, so yeah, it's, let's see if I can do this upside down. That's an O, isn't it? No, oh, it's still red as an E, and that's what I meant it to be. So anyway, um, obviously, pretty responsive pen over here. Um, it does come with multiple tips on it. Like if you didn't, oops, if you uh, if you didn't see it in the, um, let me close that. Um, if you didn't see it in the um, unboxing video, this does come with numerous tips on there that you can see. Let's see how close I can get this thing. Um, this that little black tip there that's replaceable on these that it does come with several in the box plus a little uh, metal ring you can grab onto it and pull it off. Uh, the other thing is that it does not have an eraser obviously so I can't do any of the erasing on this um, but obviously whoops um, obviously hmm interesting um, you do have like in the one note here the new OneNote app uh, for 2013. I guess it's not an app, it's the program. That you have your different pins there that then you can do a line that's not very straight in my case. Um, you have your highlighter that you can do different stuff with, obviously, and it keeps up pretty well with it. And um, it's just the whole draw menu up there and everything. I haven't tried using this thing as a, um, as like a painting surface or anything, so I can't recommend it to anyone doing Photoshop or anything because I just don't know yet. Um, obviously it does do pretty good for filling in and everything, so you can do uh, a little bit of a um, little bit of art there. I don't know how functional it is, but um, obviously it's still possible that you can use it and um, it still will work. So there's one note, and um, I'll close that out later. So that's what the pen looks like on Microsoft OneNote app. Let me go on back to the start here, and we'll go to the uh, other half of the system here with the um, S note here. And there's one note I believe in here that, well, there's your tutorial for one thing, is what you'll see right off the bat with this device. Uh, when you open up this app, rather. Um, so I just hit done, and I believe I have one note already on here. Yeah, so I already did this thing in the uh, S-Note app, just for you guys to see without me having to turn it around or anything and do it all over again. Um, it does have like a simple, pretty simple app there. You have your pen up here, um, and if you push and hold on it, you will be able to get your um, all your color choices and everything. And I'm not sure you might be able to get that with right clicking on it as well. Um, this might be yes. This thing is movable. You can move it over to wherever you want it, so you can still use it in the background. You have your various size uh, brush, I guess you could say. On this, you have a pen, you have a paintbrush, you have a pencil and you have a look what looks like a highlighter tip and then of course you have all your colors down there and I'm not sure yeah you can't change different 
uh, colors at all. You can't bring up the regular wheel or anything. However, uh, it looks like that's pretty close to being the wheel. So if you click on the little, and bring it up again. If you click on the rainbow down there, that's how I got to that. So we'll keep it black for now. Close that out. And I keep having my hand go over <laughs> the light sensor, so it keeps freaking out on me. Uh, sorry about that. So anyway, so this is me using it earlier. It's just about as fluid as um, the OneNote app uh, for Microsoft. And you can tell it lags a little bit behind the pen um, if you're going fast enough, but otherwise it's not bad. And let's see, we have our text tool. Insert text into it. You have the hand that keeps going over the stupid surface. There's your keyboard. Um, obviously, I have it set up that way, but you can, of course, have it in regular keyboard format. So there's that. Um, and then you have the eraser that you can happily erase everything that you had. And yet again, it has uh, the same sort of look to it, or same sort of delay, rather, as the actual pen did when I was using it. But it's not bad. It's not a significant delay in the actual uh, OneNote app that you downloaded from the Windows Store. It does have a pretty big delay to it, but I think it must be an app thing because between this one and the actual uh, OneNote program, this works. I mean, both of them work pretty well. So anyway, there's a look at the S Pen and the S Note app. Uh, I haven't delved into a whole lot about the S Note uh, app here or anything. Obviously, you can write your note or whatever up here in this corner. But I haven't delved into it a whole bunch, so I can't really give you that big, much input on it there. If you have questions about it, um, just let me know in the comments below for this video and just let me know. Um, what did that even say? Oh, um, just the option was on. And so. I mean, if you have any questions about it, obviously you can voice record here, you can add a picture. I'm not sure what that one is. Um, what does that do? I really don't know. Oh, well, if you open up that, you can change your exercise size too, apparently. I really don't know what that is. And if you hover over it, it doesn't say anything. I'm guessing that's favorites and everything. You have your save option down here. That, let me click on it. Let's see what it does. Yeah, saving. So anyway, so there's the S Note app here on the Samsung, and then of course you have all your different folders and everything over here, and you have your uh, different notebooks and everything, and making a new note and all that sort of stuff. So it's pretty similar to the OneNote app in Microsoft Office. So anyway. Um, if you have any more questions about this app and want me to go into it more than what I have here, then just let me know and I'll be happy to do that again. So this has been the S Note with the uh, S Pen that comes with the Samsung. Hopefully this helped some of you guys out in understanding it um, and maybe helping you decide whether you want to use this device, buy this device. So there you go.